Good afternoon, Namaskar. I, Kriti Vadhera, would like to welcome all the viewers and learners to CIT and CRT's live phone in program. And today, this session is going to be very rhythmatic. Yes, rhythmatic indeed, as this session is for 11th class Mridangam students. And we will be discussing about Muktai today. And the expert who has joined us to discuss the same, I would like to introduce Shri Manar Koel J. Balaji. Namaskar, sir. We welcome you to Kishore Manch. Namaskar. Uh, Thank you, ma'am. Shri Balaji is a very renowned international artist of uh, Karnataka music of Mridangam. And uh, before we start with today's live interaction program, I would like to tell all the viewers that in between this interaction, feel free to ask questions to our experts. Uh, uh, for that, uh, you can dial on our toll free numbers. Our numbers are 1800111265, and the other number is 1800112199. And you can also send your queries via email. Our email address is ciet.kishormanch at the rate gmail.com. And to watch the live streaming of this program, kindly log into our official YouTube channel NCERT official. And there also in the live chat box, you can comment and ask questions. We, I, we may uh, make each and every effort to take up your questions at the end of the program. So, starting with today's discussion, bringing you into the discussion, uh, Shri Balaji, I would like to ask you what it is all about. What is Muktai basically? Namaskar, Sri Guru Bhyanamaha, and I am very happy to be a part of this live session. Uh, thank you for uh, inviting me to the show. Uh, Muktai is basically, there are a lot of technical terms in uh, South Indian percussion, out of which Muktai is a short ending phrase. Ending phrase. It may be a short or it may be a long, but I am using the word short because generally when there is a in a kirtana uh, that is in a in a kriti or a song, there are about some uh, sections of uh, kritis are there. From Pallavi to Anupallavi, there is a shift, and from Anupallavi to Charana, there is a shift. And from when the Pallavi and the song ends, there is a shift. So, at all these occasions, there is a short ending to signify the shift. That shift is called Muktai. Why it is called Muktai is uh, to end a section or to signify the end of a particular section. Mukta, Mukta means end. Tiha is played thrice. The patterns are generally played thrice. This is not given in any books. This is my own interpretation of the word taken from uh, 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 the Sanskrit and uh, the general terms used in the North Indian uh, Tihai. So they all play Tihai. Mukta is a word that we use for ending a section. So Mukta and Tihai must have formed, uh, formed the word called Muktai. This is my own interpretation. Okay. Uh, I don't know how far it is true, but it generally it uh, forms a sort of a logic towards the term. Muktai, there is no Muktaipu, the Tamil word is there, Muktaipu, it is the Tamil uh, equivalent word is there, Muktaipu. Muktaipu means something to end with, like okay. a, when, uh, when, uh, 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 when a girl's face is drawn, finally you uh, tap a bindi on her face, that is the ending point. So, that ending point is called uh, Muktai in uh, Carnatic music. Mostly it is played between Pallavi and Anupallavi, Anupallavi and Charana, and to signify the end of the uh, song. And also it is played in between when the Naraval, Swaraprasara, all those comes. There are, that has lot of usage in between, which I will explain while we proceed through this session. Right. So, uh, can I know the functional usage of Muktai? Uh, our students would be keen to know where Muktai is used basically. Yes, yes. Functional use, as I told you in the initial report. See, when you have a Pallavi finishing, Satyateva, 
Now, actually, the Pallavi section ends. So, what we will do is, boom, boom. So the singer knows when to take the next section. The next section starting with Parama Shambhava. So this is the functional use. In this, we will play a lot of varieties also. See what we do. Like that, we can improve on them, which I will I will explain in a short while. The functional usage is mainly to indicate an end of a section, an end of a section, and to proceed to the next section or to end the kriti. As such, okay. this shorter shorter endings are also given within the uh, uh, within the uh, Pallavi itself or within the Anupali itself to signify end of some sangat is also that is also being done. Okay. So these are all the functional means. It is actually where it is exactly used. Pallavi and Anupallavi, Anupallavi and Charana, and to end the. Uh, okay, so that is the functional use where uh, functional use of muktai. But if I uh, want to know the, what is the structure basically to understand in detail what muktai is, can you please elaborate for our students? Oh, yeah. Yes, that is a very good uh, question. The structure generally contains, we yeah, assume x is the uh, syllable that you are going to play and y is the gap that you are going to give. The structure is x, y, x, y, x and it will come back to the either sama or the starting point of the kriti. The starting point of the kriti is called graha. So, the, we call it graha of a kriti. So, it can be sama graha or uh, somewhere uh, away from the graha or somewhere be before the uh, starting point of the tala. These are all called graha. Graha means the starting point of a kriti. So, when we plan uh, muktai, we plan for that graha actually. To the starting point of the kriti, we plan the graha. In order to have this, the structure of the muktai is x the pattern, y is the gap, x the pattern, y is the gap and x and then the graha will come. So assume, So that is the takita takita tam. Takita takita tam. Takita takita parama shambhava. It is like that. So that takita takita is the phrase. Tam is the gap. Y. Takita takita is the x. And then tam is the y. So 6 to 6 to 6 will come back to the starting, the graha of the kriti. See? So, this is the structure. Whenever you can have lot of structure, single structure, double structure, triple structure, all those things are allowed. I will explain uh, in a short while when we go to the... Yes, yes, of course. But here I would uh, like you to uh, you please play something for our students so that this elaboration would be easy for them to understand. Yes, the same thing I will play. Like that it goes actually. So I can play anything else also. That is also possible. I can fill up the gaps also. That is also allowed. The filling up the up of the gaps also allowed. That is also allowed. Like that, we can we can also have some progressions also. See, if it is six, six to six to six, I can have a five to six to and seven graha. See. Like that also I can do some mathematical calculations within the Muktai itself. That is also possible. That is also possible. Okay. So, so this uh, way we yeah. to develop. 
you just used your terminology uh, i can use some mathematics here so is there any formula or a shortcut to form a muktai that's actually a very good question actually there is only one formula for muktai making muktai so i will explain uh, very slowly so that the students are able to understand first you have to know the total number for which you want to make the muktai total number either in beats or in pulses beats means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we call them beats or aksharas pulses means the in between whatever is there chakka tinni chakka channa chakka tinni chakka channa chakka tinni chakka channa chakka tinni chakka channa the chakka tinni chakka channa forms the pulses so 8 into 4 32 pulses we can do for 8 as a formula or 32 as a formula i will i will explain both of them so if you take uh, uh, four beats or 16 pulses what is the simplest formula you can have so you have to divide the number by 2 first such first uh, you have to divide the number by 2 any number you can divide so let us say a and b are the two numbers that we are dividing the next step is a should be divisible by 3 and b should be divisible by 2 and the a is the phrase that you are playing b is the gap that you are giving that's all assume you are having 16 pulses or four beats four beats you divide into 3 and 1 or 16 you divide as 12 and 4 12 is divisible by 3 you are getting 4 as the result so a will be 4 one akshara or four or four pulses you can divide by 2 which is giving 2 as the result for us So four two four two four is one muktai for four aksharas or sixteen pulses. Takka dimi tam, takka dimi tam, takka dimi tam. Takka dimi is four. Takka dimi four uh, four pulses represented by four uh, syllables. Takka dimi tam. Tam has got two syllables. Takka dimi tam, takka dimi tam, takka dimi tam. In numbers, if you want to say. One two three four one two one two three four one two one two three four one. So this sixteen for any number, this is a formula. You divide the number by two. That is a and b. A should be divisible by three, and b should be divisible by two. The third step is a is the phrase that you are going to play. B is the card that you are going to give. If this is for any number. This is the only formula for any number to make your uh muktai even even if you can take 6 as the number 6 and 24 8 7 6 to be 24 pulses so 6 you can divide by uh, um, uh, 4 and uh, not 4 uh, 6 you can divide by 4 and half and 1 and half okay 4 and half is divisible by 3 with 1 and half 4 and half 1 and half And then one and half again is divisible by two, which is three fourth and three fourth. Or we can say six 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 three three. So taki 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 tam, taki 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 tam, taki 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 tam. This is the uh, basic tie for six extra, six extra or twenty four pulses. Taki 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 tam is six. And tang is three. Taki 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 tang. Six plus three nine. Taki 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 tang. Six plus three nine. Nine plus nine eighteen. So six plus taki 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 one. Come on. This you can further flip. Taka tin na taka tang. Taka tin na taka tang. Taka tin na taka. Internal splitting also allowed. That's how you get more patterns more. Takat din da takat din taong, takat din da takat din taong, takat din da takat. This way, very simply, first you have the basic structure, and then the structure has to be split into this formula, and then you supply them with uh, the syllables, rhythmic syllables. Then it is very easy to make any number of mukhtaris all by yourself. Okay. So, as you have elaborated so well about muktai, so do we have uh, 
all sorts of muktai, I mean various types of muktai or just one type. Can you please elaborate on this? Yes, uh, what, what I mean by uh, types is different aksharas will have different muktais, whereas the formula is the same. So, I will go on explaining different types of muktais, 4 akshara muktai, uh, 5 akshara muktai, 6 akshara muktai, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, up to 16 we can go. Just to give some example in the next 5-10 uh, minutes I will give you. The basic muktai is I will play that. Extend this to, this is actually 16. So you can make this into 18. Just add one gap there. Tom was two gap. You just add one gap three. It becomes 18. Uh, 18 pulses mukai. Just add one more, you get 20 akshara mukai. 20 pulses mukai. This way, slowly we can build up different types of mukai. In this mukai, we can add a lot of varieties. That becomes more aesthetic and uh, like that you can keep on adding more uh, varieties to it. Six section muktai I told you. All the muktais that I am uh, telling now will follow the structure of the muktai uh, and the formula of the muktai that I gave you. This takita takita muktai is having uh, 2 of 3. So, this is also possible. That is, uh, 2 of syllabus. See, took only 1 4. Here, it takes 2 3s from 6. For 7 etc., we can use 2 4s. So, this is also. This is also possible. You can extend the gap and then make it 8 extras also. In this, there is one more possibility that from here 16 is starting. So, you can again play Muktai within a Muktai also. These are all the various types that I, I wanted to tell you. That is also possible. This gives varieties, so many varieties, so many types. So, like this. This is Muktai within Muktai. But that you can keep on building up with the same formula. That is the that is the formula is A plus B is equal to total number of aksharas or matras impulses. And then A should be divisible by three, B should be divisible by two. A is the A is the phrase that you play, B is the gap that you give between the pulses A, B, A, B, A, R, X, Y, X, Y, X. That is the simplest formula you can have with any number. Without even thinking you can make the uh, Muktai. If you ask me to make a Muktai for 10 Aksharas, I can immediately make it. 10 Aksharas I will divide by 9, 3, 3, 3 and then 2, 2 gaps. This is 9 divided by 3 and 1 divided by 2. That is what I did. So 9 plus 1, 10. So 36 plus 4, 40. Total 40. I will play this now. You 
can reverse also. This is actually, this is actually what is called yati. This is type. You ask me the type. No, this is yati muktai. That is takkadam is three, takkadam is four, tatik takkadam is five, takkadam, takkadam, tatik takkadam. So these are increasing. Three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, comma. So you can reverse also. Tati takkadam, tati takkadam, takkadam, pa. Tati takkadam, tati takkadam, takkadam, pa. Tati takkadam, tati takkadam, takkadam, pa. Five, four, three. Also. You can do a. You can do reverse inside itself. Takkadam, tati takkadam, tati takkadam, pa. Takkadam, tati takkadam, tati takkadam, pa. Tati takkadam, tati takkadam, takkadam, pa. That is also possible. So these are all the possible varieties. There are many more such varieties are there. You can include, uh, you can include a lot of um, uh, male color that is uh, the higher speed patterns also. You can keep on increasing experimenting. Once you have the basic structure and the formula, then the creativity becomes incessantly and infinite. Mm. It will come incredibly for you. So these are all the types I would like to uh, tell. And uh, maybe if any questions are there, I, I will try to. Yes, Han, many viewers are watching us live. I have been getting questions. We can take uh, one or two, then we can get back to our discussion. Uh, Melvin yes, yes. Anthony from Kerala wants to ask you: Can you relate it with common timing in Western music? I am not. I am not uh, an expert in Western music or Western rhythm. Uh, uh, But but if I say you, if I maybe uh, Melbourne Anthony can get the answer by this. Uh, if I talk about the talas in Hindustani music, uh, in comparison to Mridangam in Karnataka music, is there a similarity of timing or something? Let's say the high or only. The similarity of timing is all over the world same. Okay. The method of method of showing the tala only differs from tala to tala, from system to system. See from our our showing of the tala is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. In Western system, they have this weak beats and strong beats are there. Even right. while playing, you can know that. Dum, dum, tuck, tuck, dum. So you know that there are weak beats and strong beats. That is not there in Western. We don't show. The tala structure itself. Tala uh, structure, itself right? Why play? Right, right. Structure right. of the tala is not shown through the mudangam instrument. Rhythm, like right. it is I done, agree it is done, uh, done in tabla or pakavas or in western system with the weak and strong beat. Like that, it is not shown in mudangam. So if right. that is the point you want me, this is the clarification I can give. Mm, yes, yes. Uh, we will be certainly taking some more questions at the end, but uh, uh, as you've shown me various sorts of muktais, but is there a uh, version of showing a shortest and the longest? Is there a possibility of showing that as well? Yes, yes, actually, okay. that is a right question. I don't know, I don't know who asked that question. It's a fantastic question, actually. So longest, I would say, I would say longest means there are uh, there are very um, hundred and twenty eight. And uh, there are longest tala for there, but in Sula the Sapta tala. If you take Sula the Sapta tala, yeah. there is a longest tala called Sankirna Jati Druva tala. Sankirna Jati Druva tala is the longest tala. And It how many matras in the tala? If I ask, being the longest yes, tala, yes, you can ask me how many beats are there. Beats? How beats. many beats are there? I should rather say. Yes, twenty-nine beats. Twenty-nine beats. Twenty-nine beats. Okay. Beats. Yeah, that is the longest tala. Okay. In Sula, the Sakta Tala scheme, which we are following uh, in the uh, current system, 
most of the talas are taken out of the sulai sir sir uh, with your conversation only i feel that it's a merger of 2 3 talas 29 beats are so much no it is not a merger of 2 3 talas no no it, it, is, it is not certainly it is not but yes yeah. because generally the talas are 8 or 10 or 16 maybe 12 yes, matras yes. 12 beats i this, this is this is 29 we are even having talas. One hundred twenty-eight beats. Also, we have talas. Okay. Can you please play for our students? This uh, this tala I will first show you. Sankirna Jati Dhruva Tala. Dhruva Tala has a structure of one lagu, one drutam, and followed by two lagus. I'll just put the uh, tala now and show you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So, how we split the 29? We can very easily split it. 9, 9, 9, 1, 1. That's all. Right. So, 3 into 9, 27. Plus, plus 2 is 29. So, we can very easily make a mukta now. This is a twenty nine up for it. As far as the shortest mukta is concerned, it is for uh, seven uh, seven matras. That is the shortest mukta. If you uh, if you divide seven by two, three and four you can divide. So three is divisible by three, four is divisible by two. So one two one two one is the probably the shortest mukta. Tatam tatam tatam. That is the shortest mukta you can have. That is the shortest mukta you can. Have. Shortest and the longest mukta. That's for the sake of uh, making uh, and uh, trying out. I have told you. Uh, these two and it is a very very nice question okay so uh, the shortest is for 7 beats and the longest one seven is for 29 beats 29 beats this is for 7 matras that is 7 one matras okay for, uh, 7 matras that is 1 beat and 3 and quarter beats 1 and okay. 3 and quarter okay thank you for correcting me that way it's going to be 7 matras the shortest muktai and 29 beats and for the longest beats. muktai now, 29 into 4, you have to multiply 29 into 4, that's how. Okay, 29 into 4 then, my maths would also be uh, enhanced with this calculation. Uh, and uh, we, we still have ample of time, if you could play something for our students, so that this understanding of Muktai could be easily for uh, easy for them. Yes, I will make some Muktai for uh, 12 Aksharas or 14 Aksharas. I, I have a lot of my Muktais made for 16 Aksharas as well. So, I can do 16 Akshara process, a very, very nice and beautiful way to make Muktai. So, 16 Akshara is still, you can divide it as uh, 16 Akshara is 64 pulses. So, 64 pulses you can divide as 20, 20, 20, 64 as divided by 2, 2 and 2. So, what we can do is cut in, cut it, 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 Tatum, tat, dream, tat, dream, tat, dream, tat, tatum, tatum, tatum. This is one of the muktais for you can go on building this muktai for 16 extra, which is which gives ample scope because you have 20 matras to play along. <laughs> Now let us take that big set of the Saki Patam, Saki Patam, Saki Patam, that big set of the Saki Patam, Saki Patam, Saki Patam, that big set of the Saki Patam, Saki Patam, Saki Patam. You 
can keep on building. Actually, then you can play Tati Ke Patum, 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 Patum. I included that shortest mutai here if you had noticed. So this way you can build up so uh, one more uh, mutai I would like to do. That is good patum, that is patum, that is patum, that is patum, that is good patum, that is patum, that is patum, that is patum, that is good patum, that is patum. You can make any number of mutas as uh, as much as you want. So here I told you uh, you can make the groupings also you can make and then that the progression all those mathematical uh, uh, features that you can use. I did Tati Ketatum, 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 Tati Ketatum. This actually is 61616, 61616, 61616. So what we can do is 51515, 61616, 71716, we can do. Same thing. Tati Ketatum, Tati Ketatum, Tati Ketatum, Tati Ketatum. That is also possible. So these are all the various types of Nikaya or various types of examples based on the formula alone. Without the formula, you can do a lot of work, but with the formula, the options become endless. You can work on, keep on working as much as possible. And I also told you, this is uh, single single uh, point, single uh, phrase to Muktai, a uh, dual phrase to Muktai, and uh, three phrase to Muktai also is possible. So as I told you, Takatindi, Takatjotu, Takatindi, Tom. Takatindi, Takatjotu, Takatindi, Tom. Takatindi, Takatjotu, Takatindi, Tom. So that is also possible. Actually, three three times you are using Takatim. Takatim, 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 the larger the number, it gives more scope for uh, exploring the uh, different phases, including the different principles. As I told you, a principle like you can use the progression principle, you can use the uh, yaki principle, that is Gopuche, Pishwata Vahayati, all the city, that is tapering down or going up. Damaru Kayati is there, like Damaru. Dam, how is the Damaru? The shape of a Damaru is like this, our glass. So that is also the 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we can explore the different types of yati also in the uh, It is having four components. As you said, they, this is actually uh, uh, an exception to the formula that I gave you, actually. Takadina is four, Tadina is three, Dina is 2, Ta is 1. So you are having four sections here. This is also possible. This is also a That is four sections. So, that is one. Famous Muktai played for uh, six sections. This is This has got five sections. Another one is there. This is actually a, uh, it's a program tapering down with one number missing. is six. is four. 
ఆల్సో if it is within the formula within the formula itself you can make uh, hundreds and thousands of mukai without the formula also then you can try out so these are all the options available for us to work the musically so that a student is focused on the particular aspect and then works on that so my my style is to give a logic and work then go beyond the logic and become musical this my okay so th- that's really nice to know i have a question i don't know whether we can uh, play on this because even i am not familiar to play uh, on mridangam uh, ajay bhat from uttarakhand says that can you please guide how to play char tala on mridangam on pakhawa i have listened sir but is, it, it could be played on mridangam how to play char tala char tala I, I Chaar don't taala is dha dha dinta kita dha dinta titka ta gadigan. That is how char taal is. No, no. Could it be played? No, I mean, I'm, I'm not. I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar with that actually. Okay, so I guess uh, uh, what I feel uh, it could not be played on Mridangam then because on Pakhavaj uh, we have given the demonstration of uh, char taala because it is being played uh, char taala okay. or maybe sol taala. Although the bo- the the, the, the standard, words standard. the whole of uh, char tala are quite similar of mridangam itself, I guess. No, no, anything can be played in mridangam if I know. Okay. <laughs> I can't know. So, um, I can't know. I don't I know. I can about tell this. you the whole. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I, I know that I am familiar with char tala. Yeah, yeah. It is dha dha din ta. You please tell me. I'll try. Okay. Kit dha din ta. टिटकत गदी गन धा सो दैट्स सो नाइस आई मीन आई एम रियली थैंकफुल टू यू दैट यू प्लेड एंड सो वी हैव प्लेड चार ताला मृदंग में आज वेल इफ यू टेल मी द सिलेबस आई कैन प्ले I don't know char tal that is the problem <laughs> <laughs> no no but i knew it so but i told you and you played it i'm sure ajay bhat would uh, must have got his answer from uttarakhand uh, this is one of the most uh, most uh, most versatile instruments this is one of the most versatile instruments it okay. can produce any sound it can also produce any syllable it can also scope for both uh, uh, the bass tone as well as the short tone and as well as it can play faster phrases as well as the slower phrases. It is the most versatile instrument. Right, right. Uh, we we, we <laughs> have almost reached into the last segment of the program. Just five minutes uh, are left. Uh, I would okay. request you to g- kindly give some tips for the practice, how to practice, how to enhance their skills to our students. Can you please guide? So, the main practice is you should first learn the syllables properly, and then should be able to reproduce them on the mridangam. before producing reproducing on the mridangam you should be able to orally recite them with the tala see if i say ta ji tum nam 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 ta ji tum ta ji tum nam ta ji tum nam ta ji tum nam ta ji tum nam ta i should be able to recite the lesson clearly with the tala then i will be able to practice them on the mother ta ji tum tam 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 ta ji tum tam
anything. Cut it like a target at the tomb. 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 If you are able to do it, cut it like a target at the tomb. 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 Cut it like a target at the tomb.